Welcome to getting ready for fifth grade, fifth grade math like a boss. Oh, I love that you're here. All right, so my name is Miss McCarthy, and I am your teacher for this eight-week course. That's right, eight weeks, 40 days. Eight times five is 40, 40 days worth of work just for you. You can find the same problems that I am doing by clicking the link in the description box below. Um, I can show you how to do that a little bit later at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But this is awesome. I'm here to help you get ready for the top eight skills that you need to know in fifth grade math, okay? Um, so yeah, here we are, week five, day 21. Decimals we're working on some more. Addition and subtraction we're working on, and I am just jazzed and ready to go. So without further I do. Let me teach ya. Boss notes. All right, so we've got addition and subtraction boss notes today. Again, this is the same information that you will find in your boss notes um, if you download the the workbook that you need. So, addition. Step one: we are going to line up the digits in the correct place value. You're going to start adding from the right. Kind of looks like night. There we go. Right. If you get a two digit number, then regroup. And finally, check your work. Okay? For subtraction, the same thing. We're going to line up the digits in the correct place value. Start subtracting from the right. If you get a, if you are subtracting a larger number from a smaller number, then you must regroup there. Check your work using the inverse operation, which is addition. All right. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Addition, subtraction of decimals. Let's go. Learn it, learn, learn it, here we go. Okay, so we've got 183 and 21 thousandths plus 469 and 76 hundredths. So what we are going to do is line these up first in the correct place value. I'm gonna start with this guy. We're gonna do that vertically. Okay, so now with this one, our decimal is going to go right underneath. Here we've got nine, six, four. See how we're lining everything up so nice and neat. We have seven, six. There's nothing right there, so you put a zero. Okay, if there's nothing in that place, then put a zero, which represents nothing in that place. All right, now you just add like you've been doing since second, third grade. One plus zero is one. Two plus six is eight. 0 plus 7 is 7. Bring down your decimal. Bring it down. 3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 6 is 15. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 4 is 6. So our correct answer is 652 and 781 thousandths. Now we are finding the difference in number two um, of these two. So we are subtracting here. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to line up our digits in the correct place value. That is the most important step that you need to remember. Okay, so there's the first number. And then I'm going to write it right below. But here I'm going to put my decimal point right below. Okay. Then on this side I've got 83, so 8 three and then 25. There's nothing right there. So I'm just going to put a zero to hold that place. And now I'm subtracting one minus zero is one four minus five. I can't do that. So I go next door regroup. This becomes a 14 
14 minus 5 is 9. 0 minus 2, I can't do that. I need to regroup. So that becomes a 6, and now that's a 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. Bring down my decimal, boy. Okay, it should actually be over a little bit. I don't know why I'm whispering. Why would I do that? 6 minus 3 is 3. 6 minus 8, got to regroup. That becomes a 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus nothing is 4. So 483 and 891 thousandths is your answer. All right, so now we are at the practice it segment of this lesson. So here's what you can do. You can choose to press pause, solve it on your own, and then come back and press play and see if you got it right or fix any mistakes that you made. Or you can just continue on along with me um, and help me out in solving this problem. So make your choice and make it now. All right, you made your choice. Okay, so number three is 700 minus one and 270 thousandths. So we're gonna line it up, 700. But here I don't have a decimal in the 700, but I can make one right there, okay? So if I line up my decimal beneath, that means I've got a one right there in the ones place. And I've got a two, a seven, and a zero. So what do I need to put right here, here, and here to hold that place? Yeah, a zero. Zeros all the way. Okay. So now we just subtract like usual. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus seven, we cannot do that. We must regroup, but there's nothing here to regroup, and there's nothing here to regroup from, and there's nothing here to regroup from, but there finally is. So this seven becomes a six, and this zero becomes a 10. Okay, but I still can't subtract, so I need to regroup, turn that into a nine, and give this a 10. But I still Still can't subtract, so I need to regroup, make that a 9, turn this into a 10. Okay? Still can't subtract, I need to regroup and make the 10 come over here. All right, and now I can do it. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. You may have gotten stuck here if you tried this one on your own, just subtracting across zeros. Maybe not. Maybe you're a smarty pants. 9 minus 1 is. 8, 9 minus nothing is 9, and 6 minus nothing is 6. So 698 and 730 thousandths. This would also be a correct answer. Boom! That's how you do it. All right, everybody, we are on our last one. Make your decision now if you want to stick with me or if you want to go work on your own and then come back. Um, just make your decision. Number four, here we go. 98 and 9 tenths plus 9,999. Now I created this problem to give you a lot of regrouping, okay? If you can do this, you can do anything when it comes to adding and subtracting decimals. Actually, when it comes to adding, because this one is adding decimals. All right, so got 98 and 9 tenths. You know what, actually for this one, I always like to put the greater number on top, so I'm going to do that. 9,999 is greater than 98. So my decimal would be right here, okay? For the next one, put my decimal right down there to keep it nice and lined up. Looks a little crooked there, actually. Is that better? A little bit better, okay. And then we put 98, 9, and 0. Okay, zero plus nine, nine. Bring down our decimals. Nine plus eight is 17. Nine plus nine is 18 plus one is 19. One plus nine is 10. And one plus nine is 10. Bring your 10 all the way down. Now we got a ones, tens, hundreds, comma. So 10 
thousand nine to seven and nine tenths. That is it, people. That is a wrap. We are on to our B message. And stick around at the end of this video. I will show you how to access the workbook pages if you have not already gotten them yet. So I will see you later. Here's your B message. Today's B message is to be responsible like a boss. A responsible person focuses on doing the right thing, even when you think that no one is watching you. You're always trying to do your very best and do the right thing. So that means completing your work and your homework and doing your chores or helping your siblings without your parents or your teacher or anybody else having to tell you to do so. You just do it because you know you're supposed to do it. It also means telling the truth, okay? Responsible people are also honest people. And also, responsible people focus on putting forth their very best effort. And some days your best is going to look better than other days. Some days we just have off days, but you still have to give the very best that you've got each and every day. So be responsible like a boss. Get ready. Get ready. Be ready. Be ready. Like a boss. Like a boss. Boss mode. Boss mode. Boss mode. Boss mode. Boss mode. I'm getting stronger.